Now again, the general rule is go away from the increases. Go away from what's been added. So when we look at the first situation, we have an increase in N2. Now, you weren't asked to do this on the paper, but I would, I would always recommend it. The first thing you should do when you see the change is, do I shift right or shift left? Increase in N2, go away from the increase, would mean go away from the N2, so this would be a shift left. Now, what does shift left mean? It means you make more of what's on the left, they increase, you have less of what's on the right. They decrease. NH3 is on the left, so that will increase. H2, which is on the right, will decrease. Number two, increase in temperature. So again, increase, go away from the increase. Well, heat, that's the temperature part. I want to go away from the heat side. This is also a shift left. So, N2, which is on the right, we will decrease. NH3, which is on the left, shift left means you will increase. All right, number three, increase in pressure. Okay, when we increase in pressure, we go side with fewer moles. Okay, we want to go away from the side with more moles. Well, in this case, this has two. On the right is four, one plus three. So this is also a shift left. Because an increase in pressure, go to the side with fewer moles. So just like in part two, since we did shift left, the N2 will decrease and the NH3 will increase. New situation. NO is going to N2 and O2 plus heat. Okay, So this is also exothermic, just like the, the first situation, because the plus heat is on the right side. It's part of the products. Now, go away from increases. Go toward decreases. These have the word decrease in them. We want to go toward the decreases. Okay, O2, decrease in O2. O2 is on the right, so this will be a shift right. We want to make more O2 to make up for some that we decreased. We pulled out of there. Shift right means more N2 but at the same time, less a decrease in the NO. The left has to go down when we shift right. All right, a decrease in temperature. Again, if we have a decrease in temperature, then we want to shift to the side that has the temperature part. The heat's on the right, so this is also a shift right. So again, O2 would increase and O would decrease. Okay, increase in pressure. Just like in part three was an increase in pressure. Increase in pressure. We go to the side with fewer moles. Side with fewer moles. Okay, but when we look, two moles, one plus one, two moles, same. So, no shift. And if there's no shift, then you can't have increases or decreases of either side. There's no shift. All right, third situation. Now the heat is on the left side, so it's endothermic. And we're going from SO3 to SO2 and O2. Again, go away from increases. An increase in the SO2 
we would shift left to get away from the SO2. If we shift left, we make more of the stuff on the left and less of the stuff on the right. O2 would go down. O3, the SO3 would go up. Increase in temperature, go away from the temperature. Temperature's on the left side, so we want to shift right to get away from the heat. So make more of the right side. The SO2 is on the right side, so it would increase. The SO3 is on the left, so it would decrease. And this last time we have a decrease in pressure. So we want side with more moles. Because basically, pressure is related to collisions. Collisions is related to how many moles of stuff we have. The more moles of stuff we have, the more collisions, the higher the pressure. Since we had a decrease in pressure, we want to counter that with more collisions. We need more moles. So we go to the side with more moles. Take a look. This side has two. This side has three, two and one. So we want to shift right. Make more of the stuff on the right. O2 is on the right, so it increases. SO3 on the left decreases. So again, to summarize, anytime we see an increase, we want to go away from it. And anytime we see the word decrease, we want to go toward that side. And you should always start off with, do I want to shift right or do I want to shift left? Even if that's not the question. That's where you want to start, because once you know that, Shift right means make more of what's on the right, which automatically means less of what's on the left. Shift left, make more of what's on the left, and have less of what's on the right.